Where are we? Um, yes. We're here in Barbados and we start here at this monument. A monument to the father of modern Barbados. Um, okay. Is that his name? Right excellent Errol Walton Barrow. He's a national hero uh -huh. and currently we have this dispute about what constitutes a national hero. Okay. You are of the generation of Rihanna? No, I'm older than not older than Rihanna. Right, but Rihanna Rihanna has just been made a national hero. Okay. But there is considerable debut dispute and debate okay. over whether she qualifies to be a national hero. Because in Ghana you have as a national hero Kwame and Kum and Kruma. Kruma, yes, uh, you have all the, f the freedom fighters yes. uh, uh, of the what the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, 40, yes. etc. Yeah. And one of the international uh, agreements on what an, what constitutes a national hero is that the person should have given their lives for their country, or should have made considerable personal sacrifice in defense of the, either to protect or promote the country. Okay. Well, that's a leave there, but under no circumstances do we grant national hero status to a living person. Okay. But all of that has changed in Barbados because we have the national hero, as a national hero, Sagari Sobers, a cricketer, okay. and now Rihanna, Robin Rihanna Fenty. Okay. But let's go back to this gentleman. This is a 10 foot bronze statue okay. of Errol Walton Barrow. Uh, you Errol, know Errol Walton Barrow. Okay. Yes very British name uh, but he acknowledged his African heritage uh -huh. uh, he was our he led us to independence oh okay uh-huh when did Barbados get his independence it says this, June 20th. no 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 the 30th of November 1966 that, wow. I was an 18 year old person uh -huh. and I was there on the night okay we had it at midnight okay when the night did we had the ceremony starting at the t on the 29th of November, uh -huh. 1966. Okay. And when midnight came, yes. the British flag, came you down. see that their flagpole. Oh yes. There, so the British flag, uh, the British Union Jack was at the top of that flagpole. Okay. And we, it was a very emotional very exercise okay. uh, to the roar of thousands of people. The Barbadian, a Barbadian soldier started Loose, tightening the rope to yes. send a flag up okay. to the top of the pole. At the same time, the British uh, flag was coming down. Yeah, the, the, British, the British sailor okay. from a visiting fleet was bringing down the national, the British Union Jack. Okay. And they cross at three seconds to midnight. <laughs> okay. So three, two, one, zero. And okay. it's now midnight, it's the 30th of November. And the flag flutters in the night breeze, Light. and there's a roar, and just a quick undescribable. One, and just a quick one: since you were 18 in those days until now, has things changed for the better? <laughs> now that's the totality of, of our interview, because things have changed, okay. and as with most developing countries, yes, okay. for the better. Uh, if you look around Barbados now, you will see. Um, all the bits of evidence of material modernity okay. and modern, uh, material improvement. I have books in the back of my, uh, in my uh, in bag rucksack. here, my rucksack, my backpack as they call it. We will show what Barbados looked like. Okay. And um, if I may just pull out one and show you, so you recognize in reaction to your question. That considerable, considerable uh, considerable progress has been made. Okay. Now, way back in time, this is a, a group of people working at a sugar cane mill. Okay. <laughs> and you know, sugar was the mainstay main yeah. of mainstay of the of the economy, the main export. Okay. Uh, these are the kinds of houses in which people lived. Yeah. Chattel houses, mm -hmm. built somewhat on a, uh, an African architectural style, mm -hmm. uh -huh, but um, 
certainly with the most mean of building material mm -hmm. uh, fronds of casuarina trees um, uh, you have uh, all kinds of um, this is what the town look like okay. we are at this one mm -hmm. you see buggies you see right carriages, carriages etc mm -hmm. uh -huh. you, you see people here in one of the British colonies yeah. at the turn of the this is about 1905 okay. all right uh-huh and the bridge to your right that's that where I take you yes yeah. uh-huh this is our, this was our main activity okay rum is it well they're punch they're barrels of sugar and molasses and rum okay. not just rum all right yeah. and what I want to show you is the kind of there's a woman who at the time of her death was over a hundred years old Okay. And you can see X on her face, the travails, yeah. and the just sheer hard work. She would have worked for this Jewish family. Okay. And I'm going to show you the Jewish synagogue. Uh huh. There's uh, black people at a, at a, uh, a wedding okay. at the turn of the century. Yeah, so we, we have improved. But um, I just want to show you a few more photographs from another book. And these. These photographs are not as good because uh, the book got wet. Uh -huh. But uh, people will take you along this street. Mm -hmm. and where, where did I put the? No, I got it. Oh yeah, I got the uh -huh. speaker. Speaker. Uh, take you along. The, okay. Yeah, these are streets. All of these have changed. Okay. I mean, we had donkey cars. Mm -hmm. The yeah. donkey cart was the Mercedes Benz the, of that period. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Here is a very good, a picture of children at what is called a standpipe. Okay. Here's a pipe giving communal water. Okay. Uh huh. People bathe. This is how you bathe. <laughs> I was bathed like that. Your grandmother uh, giving you, dousing you. Uh, here is how people went off to Panama. Okay. Barbadians have built the Panama Canal. Oh, they, really? So they built. Oh yeah, we'll tell you that story. Mm. They're dressing their Sunday best. But market day, you see how people are dressed, barefooted, mm -hmm. but turbans and long white dresses. Uh huh. People look on the streets. Look, this at, the, German, look at the lambs and everything. The goats, right, etc. Yeah. People sitting down and selling. Yeah. As in uh, okay. Just Accra like yeah. market, uh huh, which could be anywhere in Ghana. Yes. Okay. Right, and our people have come far. Uh, look, there you see the donkey, the donkey car. Okay. This was the family okay, uh, car and saloon. Okay. Saloon. Here is Mr. Barrow. There he is. This you? Yes, of course. There he is as a World War II pilot navigator. Very handsome. Yes, and he was definitely a hero, a war hero. He became our national hero. There are soldiers here coming back from the war, okay. all right, and um, my father is among them. Where is he? Can I see can't him? see him. You can't see him. Can't see him. Can't see him. But, uh -huh. and these are scenes of our people. Oh, here are the houses. Okay. Now there you see the houses in which our people live. Yeah. Wattle and Daub. You know. Uh, rubble mm -hmm. with thatch roofs. This is your quintessential Barbadian house. Mm -hmm. It's called a chattel house. Mm -hmm. Shingles. Uh -huh. And this goes back to the time of slavery. And there are modern repli modern replicas of it. Mm -hmm. This is how it is now. Uh, most of our people now live in uh, different houses. But look, this is a, a village, what, 1930s? Uh -huh. And so we have improved. Okay. We've definitely improved. Here's a picture of the Supreme, the girl group from America okay. who came to Barbados to uh, sing for independence. All oh, right. Right? That's so um, so our society, you asked if we have improved. Mm. Yes. Material improvement has been phenomenal. Okay. 
Um, most Barbadians now live in bungalows. Okay. You know the concept of the bungalow, the walled house, uh, single story, veranda, etc. Uh, some of them live in two story houses, three magnificent houses. Uh, so, and there are slums. I will show you a Barbadian slum this morning. Okay. And you will you will see where is the slum? Okay. Uh, old houses, yes. Okay. Uh, some decrepit, some dilapidated, but not the evidence, not your typical uh, Latin American or indeed South African slum. Uh-huh. Without with unpaved roads, garbage on the streets, um, broken down houses, no infrastructure, nothing. Okay. That's not evident in Barbados again. So there has been material improvements. And as you look around, look, to your, to your right, you're looking at our um, square. Our, this would, in Ghana, this would be the public square. Okay. Uh, but you see two high-rise buildings. The yeah. one immediately in front of you with the blue, yes. and that's our um, that's the most unpopular building in the city. Unpopular? Yes. Okay. Taxes. <laughs> income tax. The whole of it. The whole of income tax. And that's the one that's behind unpopular it, in every country. Everywhere. everywhere. Okay. And the one behind it, 10 stories. Okay. That's like our only skyscraper. Okay. It is our central bank. Okay. Like the Central Bank of Ghana. Okay. Bank of Ghana. Yeah, the Bank of Ghana. And here is where, if we go back, come back there. So there, oh, you look at the cars all Korean and Japanese cars. We have Mercedes-Benz, Volvos, Cadillac, Chrysler, Chevrolet, name it, name it, they're here. And perhaps it is argued that we have more cars, and more vehicles in Barbados than we actually need. <laughs> so evidence of development is there for you to see. You look at the boats behind you. Yeah. We will see boats owned by Barbadians. Mm -hmm. Now, once upon a time, only whites in Barbados owned boats. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you boats owned by blacks. Okay. Are we going to? And. And what's that church? That's not a church. That was our parliament. Oh, that's the parliament. That is the, the oh, okay. parliament building. Okay. From the 18. All of these I'm going to show you. Okay. Uh, we have three hours together, so if you can bear me. All right. That's uh -huh. right. Okay. Uh, we're hearing the sound of is it the police or ambulance, which is common. Ah, ambulance, okay. ambulance, moving. But I give you. Let me let you into a secret. Yes, I like that. It is now twenty to twelve. Uh -huh. That ambulance driver is on his lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> And he does it every day. <laughs> he he puts on his siren and clears the traffic yeah, to get guys, to get to his point where he eats. And guys, when he comes back an hour from now, uh -huh. he's going to repeat the exercise. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is really fun to hear. <laughs> yeah. it's part of the whole exercise. Now, okay. in front of you um, is the waterway, which yes. this is the geographical signature of Bridgetown. Okay. This waterway here. Okay. It's not much. I mean, it's, it, it's not like the delta mm -hmm. uh, of the... Um, is it like the Nile? No, <laughs> not even, no. But I'm thinking of your, your river. Um, uh, Akosumbo River. Which one? Which, which of the, the rivers? Com that comes through Accra. It comes through Accra? What? Guys, if mm -hmm. you know which rivers come through Accra... No, not, that... Not, in, not, into, not, into the delta. That, that, that. Oh, the Volta River. The Volta. Oh, oh. okay. Guys, oh, I, I got it eventually. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, but um, I should have known that uh, because it's okay, it's okay. because uh, Burkina Faso yes. is upper Volta. Upper, yeah, upper Volta. Okay. Right. So this is what be our equivalent of the Volta. Okay. A very small, insignificant equivalent. It just runs for about a mile. Okay. But it's the waterway of Bridgetown. Okay. And the bridge I'm showing you to your left, it, that bridge over there. It is from that bridge that Bridgetown gets its name. Okay. And this waterway, not very deep. Okay. About 15 feet. Oh, but it accommodates, okay. accommodates uh, All those yachts, yachts and fishing boats, etc. Okay. But let's start again, start from American Indians, 
Columbus called them Indios, Los Indios, the dark-skinned people. The indigenous people of Barbados and the Caribbean. Okay. Kalinago, K-A-L-I-N-A-G-O, or they call them Caribs. Okay. And you know the Caribbean, yeah. blah, 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 everything Caribbean. So the term Caribs continues. Okay. And the Arawaks, A-R-A-W-A-K-S, who we know, real academics know, Taino, T-A-I-N-O, Taino. Uh, the Taino lived here from about a thousand years A.D. until about 1400 A.D. They were succeeded by the Kalinago or Caribs. Okay. And this was a major Carib village here because it bounded the water. Okay. So the Caribs lived in this area, a major village, and it has remained a major village since then because it, the water rig, uh, the boat is into the sea. Mm -hmm. And here, this is where more or less uh, settlement of Barbados started. started. Okay. Yes, there were other parts of the island, hillier parts of the island, but, and parts with water. Mm -hmm. But this was your main village because it had an easy entrance to the sea and your Kalinago could go fishing, okay. which was a major activity, mm -hmm. fishing and hunting as throughout the region. They could go fishing and hunting uh, easily from here. Okay. So th this is where it sloped down to the sea, right, to the water. Now, 